Domestic flights resuming under Taliban control. Images the Islamist extremists want the world to see. But up north in Mazar-e-Sharif, a very different story is unfolding. Six planes have been blocked from takeoff by the Taliban, used, says one lawmaker, as leverage. This is really, Chris, turning into a hostage situation where they're not going to allow American citizens to leave until they get full recognition from the United States of America. A not-for-profit called Ascend Afghanistan says 600 people are on two of the planes, including U.S. citizens and many vulnerable people. The Taliban has denied their departure for two days. The State Department says it has no information on the situation without assets in country and no control of airspace. The Taliban has been trying to project a less brutal image, but in the few short days since international forces left, there have been cracks in the veneer. Small signs like burqa sales increasing by 30 percent at this one market stand. For Afghans who have fled, the hardliners have always been dangerous. Mohammed, a former interpreter for the Canadian military, arrived in Canada with some of his family last month. We've agreed to keep his face hidden to protect family still in Afghanistan. He says it was the same old Taliban that attacked his home less than a year ago. We shown the resistance and as the result, I lost my youngest son, my father, cousin, his son. Six members of Mohammed's family were killed, the rest forced into hiding from the Taliban. We can't believe them because any time they will find you, they will, they will slaughter you, they will kill you. Mohammed has no doubt who the Taliban still is. They've shown him. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Washington.